everyone, it's your boy Doc Williams, and today we're going to be talking about SendFox. Now, SendFox is a platform for email marketing. You can do all of this right here with an easy to learn platform. And this is great for bloggers, content producers, podcasters, you name it. This is the easiest way to get started in the game. And we're going to be going through this series of an overview of what the platform's like and some of the key features to level up your brand, start converting your target audience into customers and into subscribers. So stay tuned. All right, so to begin, we're going to go to sendfox.com. Now here, and this is a brand new page, I like it. This allows you to see what would be the best starting point for your brand. So I'm gonna go over to pricing and take a look, right? So there's a free plan, you can start out with that right now. But also what I would recommend is going with the lifetime plan. So you can go with uh, 50,000 emails being sent per month and you can have 5K contacts. So you can have up to 5,000 contacts for $49 lifetime. I mean, for most platforms, you're paying that easily per month. So it's a steal to get that. So that's where I would start with. So I'm going to now log into my account and we're going to do an overview in this video of what the platform looks like and uh, some of the key features. And then we're gonna have a series of other videos breaking down some of the key components of this platform. So as we log in, we come to our dashboard and we can see the stats that matter right here. It allows us to see our total contacts, but also right here at the top, it allows us to see our total active subscribers. Now that allows us to see a difference, right? For our entire amount of people versus who is engaging with our content, either clicking, opening, all of those things. And that allows us to now see what's going on. Then we have the last month stats where we see uh, the total amount of people that are engaged, new signups, new activations, and then old activations, unsubscribers, and bounces. So the bounce meaning uh, that it's not the right email. You try to send an email, it just didn't get to them. This allows us to get a pulse of our of our subscribers and people that want to know more about your brand. So this is the dashboard, very easy to read. And, uh, and now you can start making some really good decisions just by looking at these numbers right here. Now, followed up by the dashboard, you can also go to the email section where you can uh, start creating an email easily. I can create an email right here by clicking this button, or also I can have something turned on, which is smart campaigns, where it allows me to gather, in, uh, gather my feeds of YouTube, Twitter, whatever, and it already makes the email for me. And so if I have the smart campaign on, instead of me being stressed about what should I post, what, you know, what should I do to get ready uh, to send an email? It cuts out the stress and it already creates the email for me. It creates the subject line. It does all of those things. And then if I need to edit or change some things, I can also uh, add a button in and, and do all of those things. So it's super helpful. I can get started with that. Now, if you see, I have this from an RSS feed or it's this one is a smart campaign where it automatically brings in my images and everything like right here. And then it, it, it builds basically a digest for my audience and I can send it out. Uh, also, I have automations where I can create my opening welcome sequence and it allows me to start with a template. And these have been really high converting for, for us and our clients. So I love it. It's just so easy. It all, does all the heavy lifting for you. Here, it allows me to see all my different lists. Say for instance, if people are signing up for different types of emails, I can segment them based on the type of, uh, of list right here. So I have a show called Build With Me, so I can see who's signing up for Build With Me versus my Udemy course uh, based uh, and then separated from my King Sumo giveaways. I can do that all right here. And then right here, the next, the next tab is contacts where I can see all of my contacts. And those are the basic uh, uh, tabs of, of SendFox to get started. Now, not only can you send out emails and that's a huge portion or that's a huge, uh, you know, thing in itself. What I love about SendFox is you also have something called smart pages. Smart pages allows you to create really concise and 
well-organized landing pages so I can test out different ideas or different signups for different things. And now it, it it's easy to create it and then I can have the link right here to promote it. And I can share the link on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, or a link in my bio. And if I wanna share the, 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 the smart page link, it gives me the, the URL and then I can put that in an email, send it to my friends, whatever, um, you know, collaborators. And right here now I have the signups. And again, it integrates with everything in SendFox. So once I collect more emails, it automatically integrates with all my contacts and whatever types of automations I want from here. So I have smart pages and then I have forms as well. So forms, I can embed them on a website and all of those things and just very easy to get started. So that is the overview of the platform. Now, what we're going to come back with in, a, in the next video is we're gonna be starting uh, well, we're going to show you the best uh, practices, how you can get started right away. And instead of being stressed and worrying about well, like what tab should I go? We got you covered. What we're going to do in this next video is if we're starting from scratch, what we would do with our SendFox account so you can send your first email to all of your subscribers and your audience. So we'll see you in the next video.